Hello everyone. Look, we're doing a front porch thrift haul today. It is gorgeous here in good old New York State. And I decided to unpack the car right to the front porch and get this video done for you all. The reason is because I am going to be listing many of these items on eBay because I paid way up for a lot of items. Um, I went to an estate sale today and rather than risking the really, 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 really special items being gone tomorrow for half price day, I just paid what they were asking for them today. So I'm not gonna tell you what I spent until the end of the video. So you'll want to stay tuned. Um, pardon me, the hair is blowing into my eye. Okay. So as I said, uh, they had some beautiful, beautiful items at this estate sale. Uh, I haven't unwrapped anything, so y'all are just gonna have to deal with the paper crinkling. Uh, because like I said, I just took everything out of my car and brought it right up here to the front porch so I could get this video done for you all. Uh, actually, I can show you this item. This is a Whiting Davis evening bag. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's in fantastic condition, as you can see. Here's the inside. I love this. So I'm trying to get stuff that's not wrapped, but most of it is. Um, I also got this set of frosted Blendo glasses. Um, so we have a green and a yellow. Now they are, um, they do have gold gloss on the rims where the there was a gold rim on these and a lot of them are missing the gold rim, but they're still beautiful glasses and they're still in great condition. And then we have, here's another green and a pink. We have two blue ones as well. So there's two blue, two pink, two yellow, and two green. So I was very, I liked these. I, lo I love Blendo glasses anyway. So I had to pick these up. I'm gonna put them color with color because you know, I'm anal and OCD. That's a bad combo. All right, so I was able to do those with no crinkling paper. Okay. Let the games begin. <laughs> Oh, it's just an absolutely gorgeous day today. Beautiful blue skies, sun, it's 80 degrees. You can hear all the birds, they're having a ball. They've been in my bird bath over there throughout the day, taking a taking little, uh, little uh, breather from flying and bathing. <laughs> all right. Oh. Oh, 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 this gorgeous clock, it is made by Goudeville, Paris. This is absolutely stunning. 
It is battery operated. There is a battery in there that has died. So I will put a new battery in this clock, but this is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, the other piece to this, I'm not sure if I put it in this bin or not. Um, but I did get this gorgeous Fenton perfume bottle. These sell for an amazing amount of money on eBay. So I'm thinking um, I'm probably going to list it on eBay, guys, because I did pay a lot of money for this, but only because of what they sell for on eBay. I paid $45 for this. I do have the top but I, I wrapped it separately and it's in one of these one of these bins. So I will tell you the price for that. And it is stunning and it's uh, signed, hand painted, and it, uh, it has a number. So if I were to have this in a live sale, I would absolutely have to start it at $45 and hope to make money on it. Okay, those have pieces that go with it. So I will have to get them out. So let me go on to something else. I bought this beautiful Moriage teapot. Oh my goodness. No markings. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I just don't want the paper to blow away, so I'm trying to keep it somewhat contained. <laughs> Wait until you see this. This piece is definitely going on eBay. This is RS Prussia. Now it does have a tiny, tiny little chip right there on the bottom foot. Uh, I didn't see any other issues on this. This is, I believe, a cocoa pot. I spent $55 on this, $55, you know, I mean, but it, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. Look at, these sell for probably up, upwards of a hundred and more. So that's why I did buy it. Uh, this is gorgeous. Um, it's made by Wallander, and I'm not really sure who Wallander is. I don't, there's a lot of these names that um, are new to me on the items that I purchased today. I got this gorgeous dresser tray. And here is the stamp. I mean, it is absolutely gorgeous.
So, where do you see this piece? Now, this piece, I actually, you know what, what a dummy I am. I want to save this price. So, I got this at a, at a good price because it is damaged, but you don't see the damage get this paper out of my lap here. Isn't that breathtaking? I will show you the damage. First, let me show you the top of the lid. That is the damage. But you don't see it. It does not take away from the piece itself. Um, this is hand-painted Nippon. So I wasn't gonna leave that behind for something that you're not even gonna see. That is another gorgeous piece. Oh my God, when you guys see this one. Holy cow, hang on. There goes the papers. I knew that was going to happen. Hold on, guys. <laughs> I just don't want to have to be chasing these papers down the block. Can we say absolutely gorgeous? Holy cow. There's your lid. Lachlan, Laughlin, Lachlan. I mean, look at that. Holy cow. Now I have not um, looked up any of this. It does have a discoloration and crazing because it's old. Oh my word, what a, an amazing piece this is. I haven't researched any of these pieces. The only one I actually looked up was the RS Prussia. Um, I didn't look this one up either. Um, it's made by Warwick. Isn't that stunning? It's plain on the other side. And I will show you the, um, do I have that upside down? No, you could see that Warwick. Is that not absolutely amazing? Oh, wow. We shall move on to this bag that I have. I got this, this is a beautiful plate. 
um, does have a little bit of paint wear. It's one of those portrait plates. And you can see there is a little bit of wear on spots um, on the green here, here, and up here. But that is still a gorgeous plate and it is not marked. Show you up close the portrait. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful. This one is a stunner. This one is a stunner. This is Limoges. Hold on, guys. Poppy. Oh, my word. Y'all don't know how much I wish I had room for another China Hutch. Is that not absolutely amazing to look at? Wow. I'm like, okay. All right, so these go to something that I haven't unwrapped yet. So hang on just a second, guys. The plates are right here. All right. I gotta find the other little cup. Hold on, guys. <laughs> Where are ya? Where's the little cup that goes to the other one? Is it here? No, that goes to that. Okay. Nope, that goes to the other thing. All right, so I took out a couple things earlier and I didn't have the pieces to them, but I do now. I got this beautiful set. Moriage, look at this. Isn't that a beauty? Oh my goodness. Absolutely gorgeous. Then I got this one and I did not realize that it is cracked. You can hear it. Wait. You can hear it. It is cracked and I'm pretty I'm pretty mad about it because I didn't realize it. But you know what? If it's just gonna be on display, nobody is gonna realize it. Look how pretty this is. That's the outside of it, but then look at the inside. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful. Yeah, the cup is cracked. I will show you where. I just have to, oh. Um, it's kind of hard to see. You snooze, you lose. <laughs> All right. Um, trying to find that other. Oh, here it is. Is that it? Yeah. Now I can show you these two. These are so pretty. All right. Let me just show you the saucer and the cup. I don't know who makes them. I'll show you the marking. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Oh my word. Yeah, uh, this is the marking. If anybody knows what that is, it would be awesome if you could let me know. I could try a Google lens on it to find out. And then here is the other one. This one is Mitter Mitterreich, Mitterteach, 
I don't know. Bavaria made in Germany. Yeah, my, my German, I have I have no German skills whatsoever. Um, but I will show you this one. My friend Tiger at Tiger's Timeless Treasures. Uh, he is German and should be able to uh, help me out with that. But let me show you. Another stunning piece. Here is the name on the bottom. And here is the other side of the cup. And inside is a picture as well. Isn't that a beauty? Oh, I love these. They're like little Demitas cups and they're stunning. All right. I did get, um, this lady had a few Fenton pieces. I got this one and it does glow. It do glow, yes it do. There was another Fenton piece there and I should have bought it since I spent what I did on the other stuff and I didn't. But I'm not going back tomorrow. I got too much stuff going on, so. I think this is beautiful too. Look at this. It's got that beautiful chartreuse green with the gold detailing. Beauteous. I got myself some ice cube trays because the ones I have, I absolutely hate. The ice doesn't want to come out. It breaks into little pieces when you try to get it out. So those are for me. Oh, here is the top to the perfume bottle, the Fenton bottle. I can show you now with the lid. Uh -huh. What a stunner, right? And then I did get, I got some gorgeous decorative plates today. This one's beautiful. This one is uh, Austria, Victoria, Garlsbach, Austria, I think it says. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh. I love it. Here's the, the stamp. I am going to put this on top of here. And then put this jewelry tray on top of, or not jewelry tray, dresser tray. Then I got this set of three um, Nippon plates. These are absolutely stunning. One of them has a teeny, teeny, teeny little flea bite chip, which I'll touch up with, um, with gold paint. But all three look exactly alike. And there's the... So yeah, it has a teeny tiny little, um, there's a couple little chips. That one. Oh, I think it's just this one. Right here. I will touch that up with some gold enamel paint and it'll be good as new. So, there's those. And that is that bag down. I got one more bin, guys. One more bin.
Boy, did I spend a lot of money today. I should probably just pour some vodka right in this bottle. <laughs> I did sell three things on eBay today. One uh, was listed for a little while and the other two I just listed yesterday and they sold. Um, I sold the, ro the white rotary dial phone and the, um, the aqua colored or turquoise colored rotary phone that I got a, a while back. Okay, so this tray, this tray goes to, this is a EPC Silver Company. This tray, um, I have, it's a decanter with the small little shot glasses that was on top of this tray, um, which, I'm just going to show you the decanter and one of the glasses once I get to them <laughs> and get them unwrapped. But in the meantime, I did get this really cool vase. Um, I just liked the color. It's like enamel and it's like um, brass, I guess. I thought that was really neat. So I did pick that up. So my cheapest item today was the ice cube trays. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> All right. Oh, and my prescription, which cost me nothing. I forgot it was in there. I stopped by Fuller's today, guys. Brenda is back. She's doing much better. She still has a couple surgeries ahead of her, but she is doing much, much better. I was so glad to see her today and so surprised because I hadn't been there since before I went to Philly. So it was a very pleasant surprise, to say the least. All right, so I did get some beautiful, as I said, plates today. And um, here are, here's this one first. Gorgeous, they're hand, plain, hand plated. They are hand plated plates. <laughs> and they are signed on the back by A Call, K-A-L-L. This is the second one. There are four of them in the set that were all done by the same person. I think they were all done by the same person. I'm not sure. This one's not signed. Unless it wore off, I don't know. Oh, this one is by the same person. And then there's this one. And this one is not signed. So maybe there's three by her and then two by somebody else. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right. This is another beauty. Oh my word. These are just absolutely stunning. They're not marked either. And then there's this one. Oh, this one is by the same lady. So 
So there's four of them by um, a call. So I will sell those as a set. All the ones painted by Miss Call will be sold as a set. All right. Then I got this. This is an, um, I think, I, I'm pretty sure this is probably considered um, a type of cloisonne, but I'm not positive. I'm not up on cloisonne, but look at this pretty dish. Definitely Moriage. No, this is Moriage. This is not Cloisonne. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to set that over there. All right. So I think this is the decanter that goes. Yeah that goes to the silver tray. The lid is in here somewhere. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that color blue. It's silver and blue. Oh my gosh. There's the color that the glass is. It's a blue green. And then it has six tiny glasses that goes with it. And then she had it on this gorgeous tray. Oh, my God. What a beautiful, beautiful decanter that is. I can show you one of the little glasses. Here they are. Aren't those gorgeous? What a gorgeous set it was. I had seen it in the pictures and when I went in, I remembered that it was on a table and I turned and I saw it, so I ran over and grabbed it. <laughs> uh, I got a piece of amethyst glass. I can't see from here, but it says amethyst, black amethyst glass. And I believe it's probably L.E. Smith. That's my guess, but you know, I could be wrong. Because I don't know everything. That's for sure. Uh, I got this amazing vase. Uh, I think this is left in. Is this left in? Oh, it's not marked. I don't know. Look at this. Oh my word. Isn't that gorgeous? Holy cow. Holy cow. This, I just thought, was so beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? It's pressed glass. It's not, it's not cut glass. It's not sharp enough to be cut glass. But tell me that is not stunning. They didn't do a very good job gluing the the pedestal on here but that is a beauty for sure unless she repaired it I don't know could have been a repair job but it's still very functional and very beautiful I'm not, I think this is Fenton, but I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure it is. It 
it's not marked. I don't see a mark anywhere. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my goodness. I just love it. There's only a few more things in here, guys. This is awesome. This was a three piece set. Look at this. They call it bubble glass and it is a gorgeous aqua and greenish. Uh, look at that. All the bumps are on the inside. The outside is smooth. And then it came with two of these little little um, extra like dishes. I'm like, oh, that's a pretty set. That is a pretty set. I had to get it. Because I know I have a lot of people that like their blue. So I got that. Then, all right, these are the rest of the, um, you know what? I'm missing stuff. It must still be in my car because I have the rest of the little shot glasses that go to that decanter inside of an enamel, a little enamel coffee pot that I got and it's not here. Oh no. It's right over here. I got a little bag right here on the side. I forgot about it. Okay, I feel much better now. This I thought was really pretty. And it, this is CFHGDM. I have no idea who that is, but it's this beautiful candle uh, holder. Compared Holy cow. Carry it around the house. Gorgeous. And then I have more gorgeous decorative plates. This one I just think is stunning. The colors are fantastic. Uh, this is, I cannot read that. I have no idea what that says. Um, it does have a little chip um, in a couple spots, but it is gorgeous. Look at that. So, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> there is a chip here. You could see it on the back and over here. But I might be able to touch that up with um, a little bit of gold paint or watercolors. But look how beautiful that is. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh my gosh. I thought that was beautiful. This one is just gorgeous. I did pay up for this one. This is uh, Bavaria. Look at that. Oh my word. Absolutely gorgeous. And then there's this one.
I am a sucker for hand-painted Bavaria Prussia pieces. I just cannot help myself. I, I'm like my mom. My mom was the same way. These are the same types of things that my mom um, used to buy when she went to um, estate sales and yard sales and stuff like that. Uh, same stuff. Still got stuff up here, but all right. So now we're down to the last couple of items, guys. Oh. <laughs> okay, so here's the little enamel coffee pot I was talking about. I do have to clean it up, and this is an oldie, and I do have, um, there's no inners in it though, but it would be just for decorative um, purposes. And inside here are the rest of the shot glasses to that decanter. I got this, I just think this is beautiful. Um, I believe it's Fenton not marked it's got the silver crest isn't that pretty that would look gorgeous with uh, some daisies in it oh beautiful piece all right I did get some vintage cards these are London Then I got Statue of Liberty. And I also got August Renoir. Double deck, brand new. Wow, those were $12.50 back in the day. Holy cow. Uh, then I got, I got three three brooches I thought this one was pretty cool isn't that cool reminds me of a sunflower then I got this pretty one a leaf and then I got this one and it, it did, did have, I don't know if that's a mark or if that's, I don't know what it is, but this is really cool. They're all prong set too. So I got those. And I got this necklace because I just thought this was so cool. And when I saw it, I thought of my girl Paula at Polly's Projects because she likes blue. Isn't that pretty? I did get a bag of buttons. I, I like to do jars of buttons. So I got that. And then I got this bag of vintage sewing. Uh, there's uh, hook and eyes in there. There's snaps. Um, yeah, these are the... has the thing to put the snaps on with. And then there's a little uh, little plastic uh, hook and eyes in here. So those were cool. And the last thing I got is this gorgeous set. These are by Sydney. 
ballet pictures. Are those not awesome? Oh, I love these pictures. I love them. This one's called Little Starlet. And this one is called Stealing the Show. And they are marked with the name on the, on the back of each one. So I need to look these up. Okay, guys. <laughs> okay, I know you're all waiting. Oh my God, how much did she spend? So let me tell you, I cashed out and then I decided, I put the stuff in my car and then I decided to go back and buy the higher priced items that I was going to wait till tomorrow for half price day to get and I changed my mind. So when I cashed out the first time, my bill was one like about $184. I should have left. <laughs> because when I went back and I purchased the $55 cocoa pot, the clock, and all those other wonderful items, that bill came to $322. So I spent $500 today. Holy hell. But I think the items that I got, I'm going to make well, well, well over that in resale. Wish me luck. Let me know what you guys think about the amount of money that I spent for what I got. I am very interested to see what your thoughts are on the price. Also, I would like to know what was your favorite thing or things, because there were a lot of beautiful items. I know it's hard to just pick one. Uh, I loved everything, not gonna lie, but I really do love these pictures. And I, I really loved that uh, RS Prussia uh, cocoa pot. I must have loved it to spend $55 for it. <laughs> Either that or I need the noggin examined. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it. I'm going to make myself a very strong drink. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later.